But my mom was a better farmer than myself, but uh, I hope to catch her. But uh, I was wondering whether I could find my friends from Kawale today here. But we have some people from Kawale. I had good friends there when we were growing Irish potato, but when I came back, I started eating only bananas. So today I'll tell you still bananas. I have a presentation, but it's for a picture, but I have my names there, Jeffrey Nightway. These are bananas, we know them. And if you get the variety that is good, that choose, that's for sale, Borgoma and Kwasume, and you, you get it with meat, you will enjoy it. But let me tell you a story before the end of last year. So before the end of last year, my friend from Tanzania, from Kagera, visited me in Kampala. He said we go to Kagera and see the banana plantations there. My daughter insisted that we have to go together because she finished in seven and she got very good grades. I had promised her a trip to any other country, so I said now you go to Tanzania in a vehicle. So we went together. So you go via Mtukura and then you, you pass by a road, there is a church that was owned by me. And they tell me, this is your president who did that. But I tell you, the people in, in the Kagera region, they speak a language like Kunyankore Ruchika. You know what I told Joseph? And I think he was right. These are our people. They were supposed to belong to this country, but they changed. They put them the other side. But what is interesting, we visited an old woman. She had a, a big banana plantation. and. It has banana bacteria wilt. You know banana bacteria wilt? So the plantation was all down, but the, there are there are some some plants standing with bunches. So we saw the banana they, I didn't tell you that they were taking me like an expert from Uganda. Uganda the expert. I said, okay, we'll see whether I'm a good expert. <laughs> so we, we, we advised the, the people that you have to cut the plantation down. And when I, when I looked on my side, I saw the old woman cry. I fear making old people cry because I imagined it was like my mom. But you know why she was crying? That she has no food, and she thought well, if the plantation is dying, you can still eat the bananas. So I told her, I told, do you have an, a panga? She brought a very old one. You still remember those moments you use it? Your grandson will use it? And, Everyone will use it. It's very small. I cut the, 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 the bunch in one side, one side. It, it, it. You see past coming out. I said, that's what you're going to eat. She didn't know that even the bunch is what. So they said, but they're going to put the, the plantation down. And many people came to see the Uganda next part, who is coming to put all the bananas in Kakera region down. So I, I told Joseph, we need to move because once these people come here, they are likely to punch me. <laughs> I got the same, the same challenge with the cavalry, the Irish, because they said the Banyakuri don't eat Irish, how can they advise the Bachiga to do that? And one farmer chased me from the garden. So I, when I remember, I said, Joseph, we have to leave. <laughs> that evening they had set, scheduled me to talk how to manage banana bacteria wheat on the radio. It's called Fadeco FM. I said I will go because the radio is far away from these people. No one is going to attack me. So I took the same, the same approach. 
this disease will affect the banana that you eat. If you cut it, the animals will not, will not even eat it. The pseudo stem is rotten. The pseudo stem is like the stem of banana. Even the young ones are already affected, you cannot use them. Then people picked phones and they were calling. They were saying, arrest this man, arrest this man. Then they want their plantations. So the following day I said, Joseph, we can get knowledge from Uganda. We partner with Banana Program and we help to rescue people in Kakera region. So I drive back with my daughter asking me questions, but why were you talking about the things that annoy people? I said, Kipa, when you become big, you will annoy people. So, <laughs> so back, back to Kagera, we went to Kusheni. I had told my daughter, this picture like this, that my mom got school fees from the bananas. So she expected to see huge batches of bananas. So when we reached home, they, they, they cooked rice in the evening, we didn't have bananas. My brother who manages the plantation is a teacher. He doesn't care about controlling the banana bacteria. Right? So we ate, my daughter asking, we didn't eat much. Okay, show me where you got school fees from. The plantation is, is almost a quarter away, it's down. I asked my brother what happened, how do I explain this now, this year and now. He said, in a way you find ones to explain. But I told, I told her, you see, the, the disease finished all the bananas. Then she said, but you do research in Ghana. Every day I work till late in the night. When I go, they ask me, what were you doing doing research? But the bananas are all day. We <laughs> are working banana research program. And we, we, we provide technologies, new varieties that are resistant. But at home, the plantation was down. I said, OK. Lately, if we prepare to come back to Kampala, the whole village has the same problem. I know there are people helping from, from Banana Program, they have agents helping people to control the disease, but they are, they are all struggling with disease treatment. I tell you, no single banana in this country can survive banana bacteria growth because there is no there is no source of resistance. Resistance is I build them not to get the disease. All bananas will get the disease and die if we don't do anything. So anyway, I said, we drive back to Kampala, and then it was uh, Christmas came in. But I have many questions and many reflections from Tanzania. I, I, I still hear people on the phone arrest this man. He's going to destroy bananas. But I didn't tell you what they responded on, on the radio. I told the callers, you arrest the bacteria, not me. I'm not the one killing the plantations. You get those microbes, they are small things, they cause the disease, arrest them, don't arrest the Uganda. The Uganda is not killing a plantation. And then the, the callers came down, but I still remember this on my way to Kampala, you have to arrest the bacteria, not me. But you, you know, Christmas came in, then, then we make resolutions on the first day. Also, they list there some that she wanted to get the four points. Good enough, she wrote. Then the mother has a long list, then I had my own list also. Here, my point number one was that I'm going to keep it near in the bananas to resist the bacteria. Because the Lord is the only way to arrest the bacteria. Because banana itself cannot arrest it. Whether people shout or not, what I saw in Tanzania and in Mushemi, if we do not do anything to arrest the bacteria, the plantation is going to go down. And the children, you have children, I have mine, they are going to ask you, Daddy, where is banana? Where is matoke? You are going to buy rice. But when you go to the village and you see an empty field your grandfather gave you, you will be embarrassed also. They call you a failed research man. So I say, okay, but we have to do it correctly, I you know. So I'm going to give, to give you updates. How do we arrest the bacteria? It's difficult to arrest the banana has failed. So when the banana has failed also, you have to do something. When you have malaria, if you do not buy the medicine, your body has failed. They will put you down there, and once you go down there, it's difficult to come back. Probably you don't come back again. So, 
You see the beautiful bananas there, very soon will not happen. But the research is, is doing something. So when this, this picture is from from my friend's side after Bushani, it's called Bunyangu. When you stand there, you can see banana and you can see this lake down there is an old picture. We used to admire that place. My brother was teaching there and we used to see bananas, bananas everywhere. These bananas can grow everywhere, but if you go there now, they have clean space, you can rear animals. But it's not that they like the animals or the rice or cassava. I don't want to annoy you. <laughs> In Rusheni, we only ate cassava when bananas was not there. And we never call cassava food or maize food, no. If you said you have food, we gave you bananas. I was, uh, when we were taking tea, I talked to my friend from Soroti, from Lila, that you eat banana. I know the true story there is if you eat banana, you become soft like banana. <laughs> <laughs> so they did not eat it. <laughs> but I tell you what banana program has done is to introduce banana in Guru. We are introducing banana production in Guru because banana is the only food that, that can give you bunches, bunches, bunches all the year round. There is no any other crop to cassava. Yeah, my witness. They want they introduce cassava in Bushel because bacteria will kill banana. So they have an opportunity. But we, we are saying you no know, because our, our parents lived on banana, we, we shouldn't change. We have to do something. So in Guru we are introducing a hybrid called the M9 and this hybrid is the Baganda people call it Chuangazi. Chuangazi is M9, it's a hybrid, it's resistant not to banana bacteria to other diseases like, like nematodes, they are small ones that will eat at the roots, the weevils that will eat the corn and you see bananas falling down. But this hybrid also you have to use biotechnology because the banana seeds don't grow their own. It, do you know breeding? Breeding bananas is not like breeding goats. Goats, you bring a male there, the female there, they do their thing. You have the young kids, you evaluate the young kids, and you have new goats. If you see an old man climbing a banana plant to put the pollen on the flowers, you don't stop laughing. <laughs> but it's the story of creating new hybrids in banana is difficult. And then you've got to select the hybrid and make sure you have no seeds. And once you get those seeds, they don't germinate. So we break the seeds with the hammer or packer, they are difficult, they will never germinate. And get the little thing inside that looks like a small plant and put it on artificial food. Medium, that's by the technology already to grow and then we can get hybrids. So the science is, is all here, we have to use it. So this is the I call them my friends, the weevil, but I don't think they are my friends. They destroy the pseudostem. Do you see them, those insects? They are the ones responsible for chasing banana production from the central to the west. The westerners laugh, but very soon these, these guys are going to the west and the plantation is going to run around go to Congo. And we all eat cassava. <laughs> <laughs> but people who like bananas are resist. They are saying, you know, we've got to fight the weevils, we've got to fight the diseases. That's a big one. They can be scary. One time I made a joke, that's why don't we eat these things? <laughs> if we ate them, they will fear that this one is becoming dangerous and leave our bananas. But they have a, a very hard seed coat and there is no meat inside. So we can eat. We have to find them using another way. This is the plantation that, that I also saw in Bushen because there are these small worms. They look like earthworms. They make tunnels in the roots of bananas, and when the little wind comes, the whole plantation goes down. You can't get anything. These, these, these small things that you can't see with your naked eyes, you can't even fight them with a panda. You need another technology that can kill them without even seeing them. So it's a technology that you cannot see, like biotechnology, like genetic engineering, that will go in and kill them. 
and we have the banana strawberry. So I think about this technology, but we'll go ahead, let's continue. Do you know this disease? What is this disease? This is the wilt. That's what the old woman was suffering from when I cut. Yeah. You know, I was resisting this technology. Once you, we the farmers, we don't want complicated things. Once you begin complicating it, it runs away. But let me try. Aha, uh -huh. I, I showed the old leg after cutting. That's what, what we found out. But after cutting, we could see things like this also that look like pass. And the smell is horrible. You can't, the animals could not even do it. If you add, cut the stem, that's what they call a super stem, you see things coming out. And I tell you, this is the bacteria. I told the Tanzanians to fight, not me, because I'm not the one killing this. I was killing the plantation so that this thing can die. If you kill the plantation, the beauty will be, this thing in three months will die. What you see are the bacteria will die in three months. And then you can replace it with clean seed. But the disease will not go away. <coughs> if you still use the same panga, you spread the disease. So now what we are saying, we need a banana. Even if this, this bacteria is there, the banana will keep laughing because there is a technology that is killing the bacteria. But remember, this technology cannot come from this banana, this banana, or the bananas we have at home. No, because this banana is like human beings. If you get a human being who does not die of HIV, that one should be the president. Because he's not going to die of the virus, but it does not exist. You people, it's not the topic today, no that HIV kills, and you've got to take it as a scientific point, we can fight it with scientific solution. The same thing with this one. You can fight it with only scientific solution. You go to church and pray. I am a believer. We can pray and things change. But once in a while they refuse. <laughs> because, <laughs> because God is saying, don't test me. <laughs> we can't test God. We have to do something. So in Kawanda, there the, is, is no sweet pepper. Sweet pepper is not chikamura, it's not chili. If you put kamura in matoke, the babies will not eat. It should be chili. But we are not using that chili. And even if you use chili, we are not putting the whole chili. We are picking a very small thing that helps the banana not to die and put it in banana. So it this remains banana, but it has a, he called it a gene. I, I'm, I'm going to test the people who speak languages, the Baganda, Banyangore. Do we have people from Shen here? Yes, yes. People from Russian, I think we know the best of Nyangore so far. No, I don't want to campaign for the district. The district officer will do it himself. If you do not get something, what he called it, the gene, we need a name for the gene so that the technology becomes Uganda. <coughs> if we get all names of these scientific terms, the technology becomes ours. But when we say gene is an English word, People say, we are going with that thing we call the gene. Is it the machine from the water? Then it becomes sick. But this is like a trade. What do we call a trade? Someone can help me, a farmer, characteristic, a trade. In Uganda, what do you call a characteristic? The Uganda person who can help me. Now what is What is trade? Characteristic. Eh? Ah, Karongo. Do you agree to that? What? Eh, eh, Mkura? Mkura. Now you see when, when they were saying that scientists don't agree, even the farmers may not agree. <laughs> this one is saying Karongo, the other one is saying something else. But we need to come together and get the correct name. Then we will agree and we use the technology. But anyway, you get the characteristic from the sweet pepper that makes sweet pepper not die from the bacteria. For sweet pepper, it does not die from that bacteria. But there is another bacteria that is killing sweet pepper. So when you see sweet pepper dying, you don't say the banana is going to die. 
So that when we put it in banana and the banana will not die. If you come to Kawanda, we have bananas. We, we get this, this, you see, the thing that look like pass. We inject it in those bananas that have the characteristic from sweet pepper. They keep laughing. They don't die. So if we can, we can have this characteristic in many banana varieties, and we grow them in this country, we will laugh at this bacteria because it will not survive in the bananas. But you know what other people are telling you? Uh, that thing, when you eat it, is going to kill you. It's going to cause stability. But we, those people in the evening, when they go home, they buy sweet paper because they have too much money. Those people have money, the people who tell us those stories, they put sweet paper, they even put onions and tomatoes, and they eat a delicious meal. But they are eating that, that karongorongo, that the characteristic <laughs> that we should put in banana. And they do not die. But the following day when they put on neckties, sides don't put on neckties because we are hard working. <laughs> That's the joke, we are all hard working. <laughs> so, but we, usually we don't do that because you have to put the, the lab coat, you have to remove it, you have to do many things. So, if we can put this caramel over there with the scientists and we let the people eat that test and say this is good, there is no problem. Because if you can eat uh, this characteristic in sweet pepper, you do not die. Why should you die if you put it in banana? I tell you my dream, I know, I know it's difficult, but if I can get the meat, the onions, and the all the katunguma in my banana and I tell my wife just cook when the meat is already cooked to be in the, in the onions. It will be fine. But it's a difficult task we can't do that because you need to grow from all these things, the characteristics. I did not put here the pictures of the, the good banana that don't foresee. Arthur is doing this. I'm, I'm about to finish. The other bring these people to Kawana and they see the banana that cannot die with this disease. <coughs> and so there is another disease but the symptoms are all the same. They die. In Kawana we also have another medicine for that. This one will attack Pogoya, Sukarigizi, which is the disease, and they also die. So we are getting the disease from different plants to make these plants not die. We are also working on this thing. When you see the leaves getting different colors, you say they are becoming beautiful like a flower. But remember, this is a disease. The branch will become small, and you will not, you will not have this I forgot to tell you what I saw in Bushen. Because they eat only bananas, you know I got an expression why I'm a short man, probably. You see those boys here? They eat sweet banana. In Russia, we eat a lot of bananas. But banana does not have a lot of nutrients, no vitamin A. So we become short like myself. <laughs> and we, we thought the, the ch there were changes in the environment and the Bushen people become short and the young ones get big stomach. Some people call them a boss. But to be a boss, you need to have money. These are young children, they don't work. It's the, the problem in their bodies. So what, what do we do? In Kamanda, we are also working on getting vitamin A. You know vitamin A? When you take your children for immunization, they have a, they have a, they call it capsule. I think that, that is transparent, you see like already thing inside that looks like oil, they throw one. And then you go home and say, this kid is going to grow and become a, a, a match and even a rich person. But you need that every day. You don't immunize for vitamin You need it in food every day. So in Kawanda we are saying that we can eat you bananas that have this vitamin A. Whenever you eat it, you have it. The men will become wiser, your children will become smart in, in, in class. You reduce the number of days you sit in the clinic, you save more money, you don't see people with glasses when they are young because their eyes are sharp. We need vitamin A in banana, it's not there. Some are going to say we eat carrots. I can't afford carrots myself. Once in a while we buy them, but if we can, and, and they, I tell you the most beautiful thing, 
we are getting the karongo mm. the characteristics from banana. Mm. But don't say, why don't you bring this banana and we eat it? Even the pigs refuse it. The smell is bad. But once we get this characteristic from that banana, it does not smell. And once you put it in our banana, this is the mature case. They look like a carrot. We have such a banana as in Kawanda. For me, I tell the people who don't want to eat this banana, does it kill if you eat get banana to banana? Because we are getting this karambolongo from banana to banana. How will the banana kill you if you are eating all banana? We eat chibuzi and porogum and mix them in the stomach. We don't die. How about if we mix? This small thing there, we can't die. If you eat banana and get cancer, it is a problem. Feed on banana for many years. How can people tell you if you eat this banana you get cancer? Because for them they, 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 they are rich, they are paid to tell you those stories. Because they earn money, no problem. But this one is the safest that you can do. Get karamurongo from one banana that smells bad, put it in mature kids, and have smart children, get the ones, the country becomes healthy, make more money, and become another American. This one, I will not, I will not spend much time. The Banyankore people call those Umkankana and Mukmaya. Mpumumpu, Muruganda. That's where we start from. That's why we start from, we get the, those small flowers, put them on artificial food. They, 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 they grow without dropping leaves. Then that's where we start from, and finally we get these plants out. We do not impose anything from Europe. This work is done in Kawanda by the people that are paid by the government of Uganda. Very small salary. <laughs> Someone asked me, why don't you leave this good salary and go away? It is small. I said, you know, I also have children. If, they, if I get good bananas, they will eat them. But I can sell them and make money also and live research. If you make beautiful ones. But I still need to make good banana that can feed these people. So how we do it? You get this banana with the with look like carrots. We face them. They will, these people in government did us support to face. But if it was me doing my research in my own country, I could not face them. Because banana in banana it is not dangerous. But that's how we do it. You see the banana I was telling you, this is so easy. I don't know whether this picture is clear on my computer if you look at the other one. It looks like a good card. Let me tell you one, one thing. Last week, a farmer came with a truck and four boys to Kawanda and caught me with the finger resistance. I he didn't want to talk because they know it's not allowed to grow them. So I went and told him, he said, can you give me these plants? that we do not die from bacteria weed and they, they have carrots. I said, no, but I don't know with carrots, you can buy carrots. He said, no, it looks like a carrot. He said, I don't know if they are not allowed because we don't have the row. He said, I don't want the row for me, I need to grow them. <laughs> and you keep quiet, don't tell your boss. I don't know who showed that man to me. I am involved in genetic engineering, but I don't sell it. I don't know it's not allowed. He became annoyed. Then he, he sent one boy to come, you know the Ugandan thing, seven boy maker. What can we give you to give us these bananas? I told him it's not allowed. You go and talk to the director, Dr. Tushimenirwe, and he will explain. They say we don't want to talk to him. He gave me a business card that if you change your mind and you know what you want, you call me. But that's the danger we go through if you don't have the law. We are not allowed to give these bananas to people who want them. Some don't want them. But those who want them give us the right, give us the chance. We can, we can eat them. And it's choice. You may not eat them, but don't stop me from eating them. We can eat them, but we need the love. So this banana is also there. We, this, this is one disease in Sukarinizi. We also got the solution. You can see here, they, they don't drop even when the disease is there. So we need to give you all these technologies. So the, the country is investing. We will have products in cotton, in cassava, in banana, in rice. At one time, we can have 
solutions from the science, like we have solutions from the church. But we all need to work together, you the farmer. I'm also a farmer. I grew up another thing when I was six years helping my mom. If we can grow the bananas with good science, not bad science, someone can do bad science. I also know. So we need the road to control so that he's not allowed to do the bad science. He does only the good one. Even when you go to church in the evening, you can do bad science. So having churches does not help us. Well, we need the road and then we can be good science with good food. You see, these people all come to Kawanda and listen. As Dr. Andrew Chiku and Siena Wabuma and he asked us, how do you do these things? Do you import them from your We tell them, look at themselves, look at what we do. Do you see me as a white person? If I begin becoming white, you know GMO is not good. But I'm not going to change, I promise you. So these are the bananas and you see, we don't allow people to go there. Like that farmer can take them. See technology can be bad. This guy needs to be regulated <laughs> so that he doesn't stop me from talking. So we have those bananas and this another scientist. If we need to give the chance to science, why are we shying away when there were diseases, science helped us. We, but the science, we need to support the local people who, who, who will have local solutions for local problems. We don't want to import these things because we do not know what is in there. But we can make them more important. So I'd like to thank you, I put. If you knew how happy I was today talking to my friends, the farmers, you'd know why I like doing the science. But scientists will really say we should not talk because we, we, are, we, we have to, to learn the words in different languages. But working with you, you can get the words and the science becomes Ugandan. We need a Ugandan biotechnology, like he said not European biotechnology, and I don't live in Europe. So thank you very much, and I thank you for being patient to give me a few minutes, but I, I will answer questions that you have. I can even, we can even try today to get the name for the gym, for DNA, for these things, so that the science becomes Uganda. Thank you very much.